Hello, welcome back to Brain Sushi Life. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at these tools called Place Helper Add-on for Blender. So AI got like free add-on to place objects. Okay, there, there's the document documentations that you can read yourself over here at Blender Artist. So it's not at GitHub, but you can download the add-on over here. So I will try to describe the usage of these tools. Um, I will be using Blender 3.6.7. I think it's actually better and faster with Blender 4.0 and up, but it will actually work with this version of Blender. So let's get started. I will delete everything. Select all, A, and then X. So the tools is over here. There are three different tools on top of whatever Blender tools that you have. So the add-on is, again, is called Place Helper. This is version 1.2.3 and there's a couple of options but I think I'll let you take a look at this yourself. Um, I'll leave it at the default. So uh, in order to start with this, normally, okay, uh, I, I will demonstrate using this tool uh, and I will be just using uh, cube uh, for simplicity. So normally, if you want to draw cube, in Blender, right? You can use this tool. And yeah, this tool is actually really handy. It was not long ago when we have this tool. Uh, you can you can place cube like this very easily. You can hold options. So you can place it at the center like that. You can, you can draw this on the wall, you know, like on the side like this. And you can also place the cube over here like this. You can place more cubes. Uh, so you can basically stack multiple cubes and this is already pretty interesting it's not very fun yet i mean it's pretty pretty much you know everything is straight let me save this very quickly so this is box placed and let's draw a floor over here that's a big big floor like that and for the floor i will name it floor in capital so we are still using this tool at the moment right so what's what is this place helper tools we have a couple of things place and then we have transform pro and then we have dynamic place place is actually quite interesting if you select place you can select any object and then and then simply drag it so you can rotate, but you can also just drag. And you, you, so you can, you know, just drag and then place this and it will stick. It will actually stick on the, on the, on the wall of whatever object you have. So I, I can rotate it like this and I can rotate this guy like this. Um, maybe this also, I will rotate it. Okay. So that's already kind of interesting. Uh, Maybe, okay, I'll demonstrate using uh, things like cylinder. Okay, now we have cylinder. And then if we use this place objects, uh, you can drag and just simply place it like that. You can rotate. I think, okay, this one actually scale. If you hold shift, you can drag and it will it will actually create a duplicates like a clone so you can you can very very easily create like a some kind of like a lego setup so normally this is not easy to do there's a lot of hidden options uh, so you better read the documentations um, at blender artist so this is a good uh, you have to read them slowly and then give it a try. So it will also work with Suzanne. Um, there's one last tool that's kind of interesting. Is this Transform Pro? It might not be so obvious, but if you select uh, actually this one, Dynamic Place. This is my favorite. So if you select everything, deselect the floor, and then have an active object. Uh, what's gonna happen if you if you actually look at this arrow and then if you 
if you hold the bot if you select the bottom arrow and then just drag it suddenly we have <laughs> we have dynamics right everything falls down so let me demonstrate again so these objects like that i can just drop it like that so that's pretty cool right normally it's uh, it's not not possible to do that quite easily oops sorry i just made a mistake uh, let's try again add more cube so i have cube like that oh by the way i don't know what's going on with the cylinder there it's become smaller maybe that's a bug but i will demonstrate again okay we have this kind of like a tower like a pizza tower it's kind of tilted uh, select this dynamic place once again one two three four five Click the bottom arrow and then start dragging and it fell down it falls down okay so the, this one also fails to the bottom so i can duplicate this multiple time select those select the bottom arrow and then slowly drag it and it will fall down duplicate 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 right whatever selected with something one object needs to be active and you just select the bottom arrow and then drag it down so sometimes we have objects that fells, fell down too far. So that's, uh, yeah. Be careful with it. I think, yeah, so we probably need a bigger floor. So just use add cube, draw, and then drag. So we have really big floor now. So we have object that's still kind of floating. There is a, there's a couple of options some of them kind of hidden by default it's set to drag you can also have this scale select scale and then you can start scaling it will actually push or pull multiple objects kind of clumping together like like, like a magnet and then if you want to go back to drag you can drop it so it's it's rather fun and kind of it's it's really powerful uh not as obvious as you might think at first so select all of them drop it select this drop it oh you, you need to have one active object shift select drop it drop it like that so it will be like kind of smart enough to drop it and then make the rest of them the rest of the objects gonna be like a like a static passive objects for collisions while the one that's your selected it's gonna be c colliding so it works with uh, any kind of objects um, including Suzanne as well and then if you want to be more precise with collisions so by default is using the convex hull uh, and the passive is gonna be uh, yeah all of this you can select a uh, box or the actual mass is going to be slower capsule or yes yeah just use convex hull by default there are other options here uh, yeah so transform pro this one if you have selected object like that on the floor transform pro can provide you a quick way to kind of just slide it on the plane on that particular plane um, yeah but I think my favorite is just uh, basically the place tool and dynamic place tools so you can you can really just start adding cube that way if, if the cube is already tilted like that um, this tool actually this is the default blender tool to add a cube so this should be smart enough to conform to that surface so that's kind of handy so you can have it's kind of like a more dynamic look to your 3d objects placing it more easily without intersecting um, so if again if you use place objects if you select this object hold down shift you can then just create a copy and then place that objects like that and then rotate it if you want rotate 
um, there's actually another options if you hold yeah, hold options and then click you get this arrow and you can you can pick which axis you want it to snap into so that's gonna be the, the orientations axis to place your objects I, I think it's super super powerful and useful it takes time to get used to it but it's really super handy uh, okay this if I select two objects so it's behaving slightly differently but still it's adding some kind of dynamics so your 3d placement of objects even though they are like basic cube <laughs> you can make it more dynamics like this dynamic placement you can use okay again you can use scale and then just use like a magnet scale it down uh, scale it down drag it to the left right so everything is clumped and then you can use drag and then simply drop it using gravity okay let's do this again but this time we can also bake animations i believe so bake animations let's use a scale scale out and then scale down make everything clump together it's a bit slower it's okay and then simply drop drop this down like that oh we actually have animations already recorded that's interesting maybe this should be more frame so drop it oh i was expecting that the animations will kind of override so i think it's doing that exactly let's turn off this thing so we have the animation already baked so the physics already happening and yeah i think the tools really um, using blender physics in the background and it's kind of invisible it makes uh, the passive and active um, state of the 3d objects kind of invisible to us and we simply use these tools and then yeah and then we have this ability to place things quite easily even the monkey head the monkey head if we have monkey head over there like that we can quickly place by holding shift shift and then just simply place the monkey head everywhere like that okay so select drag and then simply drag shift shift hold this one's kind of goes inside the floor but we can just drag and then rotate so it really I think if you have like assets and you want to do like a decorating the scenes this is one way to do it set uh, set designer will actually find this tool very 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 useful and so we have a lot of Suzanne monkey head right Suzanne we can select select pattern type in Suzanne with a star we select all the Suzanne we can then use dynamic place and drop it oh yeah sometimes when you drop it it will explode if you if you're not careful so so keep that in mind scale actually we just delete that for now so this is all the susan head that has been placed and dropped uh yeah what else i want to talk about i think i think uh, it's just fun to to play with it's because we like simulations right this one uh restriction toggle let's say for our floor we want to restrict it so we don't we are not able to select it where is it where's our floor floor oh okay i forgot
forgot to rename this this guy floor let's restrict it from selection so we can select everything now very easily and then duplicate and dynamic placement maybe scale a little bit scale ah, okay so it's selecting the bottom one as well drag select this drag it down select one active object and just drag it down that the dynamic dynamic does the settlement for us save so i think that's pretty much it I, and i think normally oh the whole thing is pretty fast i think there is a there's some kind of overlapping there it could be it could be a bug i don't know there's a few overlap i can see that see yeah maybe it could be a bug yeah Maybe that should be the overlap needs to be hidden or something. I don't know. I did something. Maybe I made a mistake. But anyhow, that's pretty much the tool, right? If you want to play around, you, you want to add some details. Um, box cutter is recommended or use grid modeler. Box cutter, if you have selected objects and you use a uh, box cutter, you can start adding details like booleans things like that so you're probably wondering why why do we need to do that i mean you you don't have to but it's just um kind of like an extra tools for you so you have this ability to quickly place objects and then once you have the objects placed in 3D scenes you can then start adding details things like that so there's uh, some weird overlapping objects there maybe I duplicate it by accident you still have some kind of physics yeah that should be I think once the animate animated objects being created we need to delete it otherwise we have overlap anyhow yeah we have our creations here with this guy we can use box cutter and then start to add some details if we want to it's a boolean boolean operations but just really handy imagine if you're like a like an architect and you are you want to experiment with a it's a ve like a very original type of architecture you have a bunch of objects you just drop it down you know this is very original right some architects like to experiment with this so dynamic placement just drop it that's nice if you have like like i said if you have like lego block you can just drop it because it's really like physical objects in 3d normally if it's a inside game engine you're probably able to do this quite easily in 3d software 3d app like maya or cinema 4d or houdini this is also possible but i think in blender this add-on is super useful so it's just super handy just to be able to do this have an objects random objects place it there and then just drop it and then once it's settled suddenly you have this kind of a physical believability um, because it's yeah i don't know it's a, it's a pile of 3d objects that's not overlapping it seems very 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 much uh more believable compared to the one that's kind of overlapping 
So yeah, you can rescale it and then simply snap it. Snap this object. So normally it's not easy to pile box and Susan head like this. Now it's much easier. So make sure they are not not facing the same way. They feel it feels more natural like this. And simply dynamic placement, just drop it. This, just drop it. Okay, this one is refusing to be dropped. There we go. Yeah, it's more than more dynamic this way. One, one, two, bring it up, drop it. Hopefully it's settled. Now everything looks like looks like we we kind of did like a complex dynamic simulations, but we drop it one by one, you know, like layering and adding objects and everything settles, everything looks nice, like a pile of you know, it's a pile of nothing, you know, like random, but still it's nicer compositions than if we simply just try to place it manually, sometimes they are overlapping, sometimes it's really hard just to get these objects like this. So maybe we build something like that, like a, this block. And just simply use dynamic placement and drop it there. It's like yeah, probably this is too strong, so I'll just delete it again. I'm pretty happy with this, I guess. So let's say you're happy with all of this. If you really want to, you can turn them into a pile. Just Command J, join all of them, and then just remesh. <laughs> I don't know why you want to do that, but uh, maybe you want to do that. Why not? Apply. Maybe in in another video, I will do similar things, and I will use it like a like for three D therapy of some sort. Oh, did I apply? Apply. Apply this guy. What? Okay. Sculpt. Inflate. Right. I don't. Know. I just like doing this. I don't know why. Just it seems like some kind of art. All right. So there you go. That's the place helper add-on. Um, you can download it from this then artist or Hopefully, hopefully the developer will also put it at GitHub. Um, but I think for now you can just download it from this link. So hopefully. You find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye